So uh, now we will move to exercise 1.6. So in 1.5 we have solved uh, related uh, problems related. That means up to 1.5 we have done uh, problems related to whole number and common fraction. But in this uh, new exercise that means 1.6 we are going to talk about decimal fraction. Uh, addition and subtraction of decimal fraction, multiplication, division of decimal fraction and LCM and HCF of decimal fraction as well. So firstly we need to know what is actually decimal fraction. So in lower classes we have already learned about decimal fraction so it might be familiar with you. So then again we will see a coordination. So a decimal fraction is a fraction whose denominator is 10 or a multiple of 10 like 100, 1000, 10,000 etc. So in case of common fraction we have uh, like uh, written like this 2 by 3, 6 by 4 in this way. But in case of decimal fraction uh, the denominator must be a multiple of 10, 100, 1000 and or 10,000 and etc. So that we can uh, just write in the form of decimal like uh, in giving this decimal point. This type of fractions can be converted to uh, decimal fraction as well but uh, directly this type of fraction that are in decimal format like uh, that have a, a denominator as multiple of 10 we can directly just uh, write them in the form of decimal fraction. So in the figure you can see uh, we have a certain like let assume these are a box or chocolate so we have uh, it is divided into 10 equal parts so if we count uh, if we calculate the amount of uh, amount of this box only it will be 1 by 10 and 1 by 10 can be written as 0 0.1 so for um, for 1 we get a decimal and for every um, So for the 1 we get 0 and for 1 10 we uh, just need to write a point and then we will write the numerator. Similarly 7 by 10 can be written as 0 0.7 that is 7 uh, portion 7 by 10 portion of the whole that is 7 by 10. Okay then 18 by 100 18 by 100. So here we have 18 by 100. So 18 by 100 can be written as uh, 0 0.18. Similarly 57 by 100, uh, 1000 can be written as 0 0.057. So in this way, okay. So for point, every point we have 1. And for every digit we count a 10. So in this way it comes here. We have already learned in the lower classes how to convert these things. So yes, then again 1 to 24 by 1000 uh, we gave um, 1 for this point and every 0 for the other digits. So in this way we will solve. Like if we are given 2 by 100, so what we will do? Uh, we will just put a point. Uh, for 1 and for uh, 0 we will give 1 0 and 2 that is for point we, give, we are giving 1 and for every digit we, uh, we are giving 1 0 so in this way 0 point, uh, point 0 0.02 by 100 uh, is, we can convert in directly to 2 by 100 so uh, in case of, of converting like now we will see how to convert uh, decimal to common fraction. That means we are given any type of decimal fraction like 0 0.078. So what we will do, we will simply just write 73. That means our given number. We will not consider the 0 point or something because uh, in case of forming common fraction, we can't write... Um, uh, uh, in point so in decimal any type of um, broken number we just need to write the whole number in denominator and numerator so we have simply just written the 73 and for the point we will give a 1 here 
and for every digit every digit after the decimal we will put zero since we have one two three digits we have written zero 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 similarly uh, again if we write another like 73.25 so what we will do we will simply write the whole number without any decimal 7325 then we will put uh, 1 for the uh, decimal that is 1 and we will write um, 0 0 that means the 2 uh, we will count uh, how many digits we have after the decimal so we have 1 2 numbers so we will put 2 0 so in this way we will convert uh, decimal to common fraction so in case of addition, multiplication, division of decimal fraction, you can just convert the decimal fractions into uh, common fractions first. Then you can do uh, repeat the process that we have learned in the previous chapter. But we can also add in keeping the format in decimal fraction. So firstly, we will learn addition of decimal fraction. So here I have an example like 3.21 plus 4.5. So we are given two decimal number that is 3.21 and 4.5. So the first thing that we need to do is line up the decimal points. That means we have to keep uh, in below like keeping the decimal in their fixed point. Like 4 uh, is a whole section we will keep it in uh, between 3 line up with 3 decimal in the point and 5. So we can see uh, in case of decimal, while uh, converting a number in decimal, we can see there is no digit in the in the in this case. So, after, in case of decimal uh, fraction, after decimal point, if we uh, put thousands of zero, like four point five zero 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 zero. It will, uh, it, this 0 has actually no value, it is equal to 4.5. Writing 4.5 equal to 4.5 subillion of 0 is equal. So we don't actually write any type of 0. But for calculation, uh, it's, it's wise to put a 0 here uh, so that it will be easier while calculati calculating. So like we will put a 0, you can actually avoid it. But it's better to give. Then we will just simply add in the normal process that 1 plus 0 equals to 1. Then 5 plus 2 7. Then 4 plus 3 equals to 7. Then we will just put the decimal as it is. Like it is after 2 digits. So we have put uh, in after 7. So in this way we will uh, solve the, doing the addition. Like firstly we will just line up the decimal points. Properly put it like the uh, the decimals in in correct sequence that means uh, whole number in between whole number then decimal in the separate uh, way then and just like uh, lastly add as usual and just drag the decimal point straight down that means we will just put the decimal after uh, the uh, given digit that means it is after uh, two digits from the right side so we have just put it here so it's a very very easy process Similarly, for subtraction, we will do the same thing. So, firstly, what we have done, uh, we have just lined up the decimal points. That is, uh, in this way, eight com uh, 2 comes in uh, between 2, uh, 8. 2 comes in between 8, uh, in below 8. So, 2.97, so 97 and 82. So, we have just uh, regularly subtracted. That is, 7 minus 2 equal to 5. Then, 9 minus 8, 1. And, 8 minus 2 equal to 6. Since we have um, a decimal up two digits from the right, so we have put here. So it's a very easy process. So in this way, we will solve subtraction as well. Okay, and then multiplication. Multiplication is very easy. So what we have done, so here we have to multiply 0 0.26 into 8. So initially, initially this um, decimal point, uh, we will not calculate the decimal point. We will calculate it later on. Simply we will multiply 26 by 8. So after multiplication we get 6, 8, 20, uh, 48, 4 in hand, then 8 to the 16, 208. Now we will uh, count the uh, places of the decimal. 
So we can see in the given question we have two digits. Uh, in two digits we have we can see we have two places we have decimal after two places here and after zero places we will count after how many places we have decimal. So after counting we have got uh, we have just decimal in two places. And here we don't have so 0 places 0 plus 2 equal to 2. So we will put decimal after 2 digits from the right side. Always we will put decimal from the right side. So yes we will put uh, 1. Two. So if it is given like uh, 0 0.26 0 in multiplied by 0 0.8 that means 0 0.8 then we will write here we have 1 places. So it will be 3 then our answer would have been like uh, 0 0.208 it will come another places forward from the right so in this way we will do multiplication of decimal fraction that means firstly we will multiply as it is in the normal multiplication process then we will calculate after how many places we have decimal we will just count for the two given number uh, then if it is two or one according to this we will put decimal sign from the Right, from the right side to left side. Okay, division of decimal fraction. So, it's also very uh, easier. So, um, firstly what we will do, we will just uh, keep the whole number as it is. Like we will divide as it is. So, here we have just uh, multiplied like 25 into 3 we get 75. Then we have put uh, 58 like uh, by putting the, by uh, bringing this number back. So 58, then again we have multiplied by 2, so we get uh, 50, so 8. Then again we have just uh, came uh, put this 9 here, so actually this 9 is after, uh, after the decimal point, so when we will uh, just keep the decimal, we will just bring the uh, number that is after the decimal point, we must need to put the decimal here also in the quotient also before the decimal comes we will just doing we are just doing the normal multiplication because we don't have any type of decimal in this section but uh, after the decimal comes we immediately need to put the decimal here also when we just put 9 we have crossed the decimal that means we need to put the decimal here as well so uh, 25 into uh, 5 uh, 3 we are getting 75 then we just get left over 40 but uh, we need to come to a reminder 0 so what we will do we will keep uh, placing 0 after the reminder and continue the calculation as well as until we get a reminder 0 so though we don't have a 0 we put an extra 0 so after putting extra 0, uh, we multiply 25 by 5, we get 125. Again we get a reminder 15. So again we put an extra uh, 0. So this time by multiply, uh, multiplicating 25 into 6, we directly get uh, 150. And they, in this case we get reminder 0. So we don't need to uh, uh, continue the calculation. So this is our required answer. Similarly, it's actually a, uh, dividing a whole number, um, dividing a decimal number by a whole number. But in some cases, uh, some whole numbers can't be divisible by a uh, whole number. That means whole number can't be divisible by whole number. Like 6 can't be divisible by 4. So what we will do in that case? So it's like this. So uh, here 126 is div uh, div divided by 5. So firstly 5 to the 10, so we have uh, 2, then we put the 6, then 5 to the 25, we have our leftover 1 as reminder. So what we have done, we have put an extra 0 and as we have put an extra 0, we have placed a decimal here because uh, for placing an extra value, firstly we need to put a decimal. So we have just put a decimal, then we get extra 0. And then we have just multiplied 5 into 2 equal to 10, 0. We have got leftover reminder 0. But if we don't get a leftover reminder 0, we will keep uh, placing an extra 0 and uh, continue the calculation until we get reminder 0. So until uh, we get a reminder 0, we will keep 
place in zero and decimal. So yes, in this way, uh, division of decimal fraction is done.